What's up and welcome to the second channel guys. It's Sabrina today and we have a train video to show you. We are in Osaka, Japan and we took the Shinkansen train which is the Japanese bullet train. Uh, if you haven't seen our other train review videos, I'll leave the link of them in the description below. You can check those out. But we are going to try a little bit of a different style today. I'm going to let the footage just run so you can see uh, just the footage without having me talk too much. Uh, and you can let us know in the comments, do you like this style? Uh, do you prefer the other style? Let us know and we will uh, do our reviews for trains like that in the future, whichever way you like. So, I hope you enjoy the video.
All right, so that is it for our Japanese Shinkansen bullet train video. We do hope you enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it was a little bit of a different style where I wasn't narrating, mainly because the trains are so quiet. I didn't want to be uh, projecting my voice into a microphone while on the train and disturbing others. Uh, and another reason, we just kind of wanted to show you the, the beauty of the train and the views uh, all around. So we do hope you enjoyed that. You can uh, tell us in the comments, did you enjoy that style? Uh, if the majority of the people uh, that do comment do enjoy that, we will continue to do that style because it is a little bit easier to film that for the trains because trains generally are uh, a little quiet. So. Let us know in the comments if you did enjoy it. Overall, the experience was amazing. Uh, it's well worth the money. I know it is a little expensive, but Japan is expensive and the trains are wonderful. Uh, they're quiet, they're clean, they're spacious. Uh, I would say it's one of my favorite train experiences uh, of all in Asia. Um, it was really a wonderful ride. Compared to trains in Taiwan or China, I would say it probably ranks a little higher. Um, it was quiet, it was comfortable, it had a lot of features even for the second class. And also not to mention it, uh, it wasn't that busy. We took a couple of the Nozomi trains, that was just one of them, and it really wasn't busy at all. The cabins were not full, so if you did want to spread out or even move around, I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem as opposed to trains in Taiwan and China, which were always busy whenever we took them, always fully packed. So if you did want to see our other train reviews, you can click uh, somewhere on the screen. I will put up our Taiwan train review. It's the high speed rail in Taiwan, uh, as well as the China high speed rail review. You can check that out and let us know what you think of those as well. And compared to these two styles, definitely let us know what style you liked the best so that we can continue to make our train reviews in that style. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this uh, and other various things that we cover on this channel, as well as our main channel, which we cover food. So go uh, subscribe to both of those channels, give this video a thumbs up, and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.